Over to you, Mr. Starter.
a nice variety of hoops and stuff like that for somebody to carry away. Right? That's the fundamental problem, right? Now, the great thing about the hoop, as I say, it was normally wood and it was normally bashed like mad. That's because they knew what they were doing. They didn't have too much trouble actually finding the other hoop to hit. But you may notice the problem is. <laughs> Thank you. 
talk to uh, a visiting side uh, Sydney of 1971, uh, that's a long time ago, they came with two coaches, one full of dancers, the other one full of costumes, because they reckoned that you couldn't collect a dance without getting the costume correct at the same time. That's the, only that particular club is only system. But they, they, in talking to the leader, he said, well, I identified, I have identified, 700 dancers that were traditional in the Basque country. Now, the Basque country, there's so many departments in Spain, but also some in France. Um, 700. I wish about 300 of them properly recovered. And an incredible variety of costumes and things of that sort. Um, I said, each team tended to be different, each dance tended to be different. There certainly wasn't the, the normal structure of a dance that we're used to with a cocktail chorus with a chorus figure, chorus figure. There might be a string of figures and then there's a string of choruses. So, or like this dance, some simple figures um, with choruses, and then you end up with the, the chorus getting repeated like that faster and faster and faster. Now this next one that I'm going to teach, um, again, some of you met it, but it's a stick dance. Um, I filmed uh, a visiting from the um, bar side at the Milton Keynes Festival a few years back. Um, now, we start by hitting the ground. Now this is quite fun when you've only got a short hit. <laughs>
to the Midlands uh, and so on in England to actually be smelted, which is that and the reason that the, the Basque discovered the new fame of cod banks first and so on. There used to be competition between the British <coughs> fishing fleet and the Basque to get the cod and so on. Mind you, it's all not fish, they did the arrangement not removed. Really. Um, there were a lot of contact between Britain and the, um, the Basque at one time. So we will do put up um, crossover back to back and range and do the course like that in between each one, right? <laughs> that doesn't confuse you, you wait for the third. <laughs>
labour. One, two, two, three for turning. Facing two lines for the other way. Uh,
mention starts. I'd like to mention that Beth Neal, who is standing here, hand up, produces a magazine called Morris Matters, which comes out twice a year. There are current and back numbers here uh, on, on sale, and subscription forms, and she'll be very happy to take money from you. And the current issue has got a very interesting article about Brent Hester and Hamilton. And it's in colour. Oh, the colour photo is a
half coconut shells which shatter and smash as we do the dance. And hopefully what will end up with is not so much cuts and whatnot. Feel blood vessels. Right. Uh, one thing I should say, the one for yourself in this dance is actually as the music goes through, let the music go through once. And on the fourth beat, strong beat of the second phrase, you actually stamp your right foot down on the ground, your left foot comes in the air, and you're going to do four plank papers. So it's one, two, three, four. And the hands at that point are front, behind, front, and up. Let's just try that with some music, please. So you're facing up. We'll do the once yourself, just in with that.
Then the whole jib. Then the whole jib. Then exactly the same crossover. And then the foot up again. We only do <coughs> one and a half of each figure. And then we repeat them in reverse order. So we can string all of those figures together. So it's foot up. Crossover to the other side. Hold jib from the other side. Hold jib from the other side. Cross back to your original position. And foot up. Let's do the whole of the, that whole sequence. Long intro.
left foot, using your capers generally start on the left foot. What some of you will probably find is that's the fifth one, and that's the sixth one. That feels like a scrub that's in the air, you might start to shape as right foot. Technically, that's incorrect. <laughs> Sweet Jenny Jones, 
we run three steps, one, two, three, then you do a heel and toe, one, two, three, and then you run back again and turn it on that sort of step. So it's actually in six, six whole sort of things. Well, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All of it's just running. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's basically a lot of running around with a <laughs> with a heel and toe step, as you put it. We actually have bedlamized it as we've actually got used to it, so like the four time, you actually land they're actually taking off a bit and landing into it. So we actually do one, two, we actually we actually take off into that sort of into the heel and toe. But it's probably easier to learn by just running it one, two, three, and then running backwards. Uh, but it is a count of six, it is one yeah. step of six rather than you know, six individual steps or three plus three. Yeah. It is that flowing movement, the whole the whole phrase is is six steps. <coughs> right. Does everyone want to have a go at that? Yeah. So it's uh it's one, two, three, four, five. Thank <laughs> you. 
go once yourself. We'll do it once yourself. It's nice for some. Shoulders. That's where you do the 
way the, the hill toe bit. Now to get out to the opposite side of the hay, best to think about this when we end the first, is that uh, Marilyn Bryan will continue to we'll do one forward, turn to face it, and then back long way. Yeah. So, keep going, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> if I was to have my heel toe there, then carry on running, and then turn, and then you back away for three steps. Similarly, uh, Jill and Jenny will also do that, so they're running away for three, backing, then backing away for three. And what Lee and I do is continue all the way around. And that's one half the height we've actually changed it. We actually change the orientation. Now what you're going to do is put these, the other half will immediately go back. So me and Lee will come around each other. The ends will slot in left shoulders this time, so ultimately facing up, and then we break away to continue the sort of way back to face. Uh, the ends might put a little bit of a turn in just to fill up some uh, it's not time. Uh, it's, I'm fairly happy demonstrating that. <laughs>
That's what they Some, some quite right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so the hand clapping, uh, it's in three time, remember. What we do is both hands on thighs, both hands clap, right hand on partner. Now, right. The top four will turn to face their partner. Neighbours. Neighbours. Neighbours, sorry, that's all right. And repeat, with, but only with the left hand at the end. So it's thighs, right, left. Then they face their partners. Thighs, both, right. Then the bottoms get their turn, the middles face down. Thighs, both, left. Face across your partners, thighs, both, right. And I'm afraid tops get one extra go with the middles. There's nothing to go with it. Both go there. And finally, thighs both right and right. It works out. It works out. What happens is that the middles, this, across your partner, with your partner first, then the middles will face up, partners down, partners up, partners. That's all it will work out like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
clapping, hey clapping. Half jig, clapping, hey clapping. Back to back, clapping, hey clapping. Double spin clapping, triple spin clapping. <laughs>
we were working on it. I think it was
Well, I think everyone here has done exceptionally well. It's an awful lot better good ideas than this series, isn't that? And if you don't take them away, you can be the artist. Berkshire better than Will. They've got a film. Well, if you want to see what Berkshire better than I've done with that tune. Yeah. We don't dance to that tune. But if you want to see, we will dance a figure and a chorus, just two of us, to a 5-4 dance. If we were to come on, you got some couple of sticks, please, Lee. <coughs> We won't do the whole dance, we'll just do a figure yes. and a chorus. We'll do the full version. We'll do the foot up and the full version before we start. Yep. Right, we'll just do the, the foot up and the full version. This is what Berkshire Bedlam made of it when we set ourselves that challenge. I think after a wantage weekend a few years ago. Thank you. 